everyone, Shoney from Shoney Gaming here, and today I'm going to show you how to install the liveries in uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. Custom liveries to be exact. Uh, as you guys may know, Amica in our channel made a uh, great, great, incredibly cool livery pack for uh, the cabin crew. And of course, we want you guys to enjoy it as well. And we had some questions on, that's very nice, Shoney, but how are we going to install that? Well, it's actually pretty easy if you know how. That basically goes with everything, but of course. But let me show you. It, it is pretty dang easy. It is pretty dang easy. First off, let me switch to my screen right here. And there is my display screen right there. Now, what we need to do is, in this case, you can see the Discord channel right here. I will place a, a link in the, in the description below to the Discord channel so you can download said uh, uh, specific uh, flight uh, uh, or uh, livery pack. Um, but what you go, what you do is you go to uh, the Discord channel, go to the liveries directory right there, and uh, you will see it a pinned message, and you can download it right there. So if you click it, it will open a window, and you can download that livery pack right there. That will be downloaded straight to your um, uh, to your download directory on your PC. So you have to look that up. Uh, once you get to your download directory on your PC, you should be able to see the Shoney Gaming Livery Pack. Well, actually, it's a zip file in a zip file. So you basically first have to unzip the first zip file and you will end up with a second zip file named this. And this you have to unzip again. Now, if you unzip this, for instance, through WinRAR or WinZip or whatever you use, 7-Zip, there are multiple ways of how you can go about this, but this is the directory that you will get and you will have to unzip all these files right there to, uh, to a directory. Well, in this case, it is in the same directory as my zip file and you will end up with a file something like that. And you can see all the little files right in there. They're right in there. But what we want is everything right there. Now, what you do is you basically select them all and uh, you can either do that by or or you can pick just the one you want but uh, you can basically select one or two by holding the control button and left click or select the top and the bottom and hold shift and click so shift and left click on the bottom you should get the entire group right there then you go to copy in this case and now we go to our community folder. Well, I already linked my community folder right there. And as you guys can see, here is my community folder. Now this changes for uh, Steam. So if you're using Steam, for instance, let me have a look. I have two directories and I will link them as well. This is basically where your, uh, where your version of the community folder of Microsoft Flight Simulator is if you have the Microsoft version, it's this. So it's users, your computer name. So that's basically in this case, my case is well, John, show me. And then uh, app data, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That's where it's hiding. The other one, if you have Steam version, it's um, nearly the same a little bit different but yeah it's it's nearly the same so basically you would end up in the same place uh, those two links i will add in the description as well now if you go that you should end up uh, it should end up looking something like this and this will be the directory where all your liveries will be hidden there they are so what you do is you right click on it paste it well in my case you can now see it is copying everything. It is copying right there. And it may take a take a little while. This this is uh yeah. All right. In my case, it's already there, of course. So I'll we I'll be replacing them in this case. But as you can see, there it goes. Copying, copying, copying. 468 items in total. And it is done. Well, nearly done. It's done. It's done. So this will finish up. There we go. There are the new liveries. Now, once you have them installed, you start up your uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, let me show you guys there. There it is. You go to Profile. And in my case, you can view them in the hangar. Now, if I change an aircraft and I go, for instance, to the airliners, I select the Boeing. 
right there. Now we have the Boeing. Yeah, that's all fine and dandy. It takes a little while to load, but it will be there. Trust me. There it is. Air Canada. For our Canadian friends. I did not do that on purpose, by the way. Uh, then we go to delivery. So it's down at the bottom. You do not change aircraft, but next to it is livery. So you go there. We go in search of Shoney Gaming. I have a few liveries already installed from the Mega Pack livery. Hence, you can see quite a lot. If, in your case, this might be a lot less. So keep that in mind. This is because I installed several other liveries as well. But this is the SG Cabin Crew uh, livery made by Amica. Now, if I select that, I go back. We wait a little bit. And there it is. Select it and all. I'm switching back and forth just to show you guys, but there it is in all its glory. It's really easy, actually. There are, uh, I think, like mm, 13 or 14 planes in total that we did. The detail is amazing. It is truly amazing what Amica did. So uh, keep that in mind, guys. As I said, it is really easy. Just go to your preferred plane. Uh, a lot of people are, for instance, flying uh, the, uh, the TBM. Go back. Liveries again. Well, as I said, mega pack livery. So we have to search it a little bit. But it's there. Trust me. It is there. There it is. In this case. TBM. There we are. Cabin crew livery. Fly everywhere, see everything. And the piggy logo right in front there. And that's how easy it is, guys. Well, I uh, I hope to... I helped you out a little bit with this. And uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the, in the Discord channel or in the comments below, and I will uh, make sure to answer them. So uh, take care and bye-bye. Thank you. <laughs>